Hey guys, so I want to make a quick little video here talking about the next generation Sony Xperia Z phone that is probably going to be one of Sony's new high-end devices this year, 2014. So we've been getting some leaks of this device called D6503, uh, also known as the Xperia Z Series, Series, Siri US, Series. Uh, it seems to be some kind of upgrade to the Sony Xperia Z1. Not of this probably is not going to be the Sony Xperia Z2, but just a small little upgrade here to the Sony Xperia Z1 that came out six months ago. <clears throat> so we have some pictures of it here, and I'm also going to go over the key features here that seems to be new about this device. Uh, first, new display. It seems like they solved the viewing angles problem. Probably going to feature kind of like the same display as the Xperia Z1 Compact, so better viewing angles. Uh, another little thing here is uh, dual speakers. So uh, it seems like they removed that speaker, a little speaker area, and uh, made it dual speaker instead. Uh, as you can see here, top. Let's see here, this top, and uh, yeah. You can see that the dual speaker is probably going to provide better sound because one of the problems with the Sony Xperia. C1 at least is that the, the sound is just too low. I mean, it's super, super, super low uh, from what I can hear. Uh, and then uh, we also uh, might, as uh, Funrin is saying here, on this sum up a place for this Sony Xperia series uh, that we might see a bigger display because the thin the vessels could be a little bit thinner, so maybe a 5.2 inch display. Uh, that was also something that Evelix pointed out that 5.2 inch display and also the, the system on a chipset or uh, SOC, the MSM 8974AB, which should be a faster variant of, of Snapdragon 800, also a little bit higher clocked. Uh, so uh, we, can, we might not see a, a, a quad HD display uh, on the uh, this phone Xperia Sirius uh, with uh, and quad HD displays. So I'm probably gonna see uh, most <clears throat> new displays on high-end smartphones from HTC and like Samsung, like with a resolution of 1440 times 2560. Uh, so that definitely will be interesting. We can also see uh, on the screenshots that it seems to be have more battery at 3,300 milliamps, 10% more than Sony Xperia Z1, and three gigabytes of RAM, uh, which definitely will provide you with some more, uh, some more interesting stuff there. Uh, and the, the S5 is also rumored to have three gigabytes of RAM. So they also made some pictures here, comparisons here, you can see Sony Xperia, uh, this new Series 1, and then the uh, Z1, and definitely the Series 1 looks a little bit better here. And then they did take some other comparison pictures uh, that you can have a look at. Uh, it also should probably have a 20 megapixel camera with 4K video recording, 1080p uh, recording at 60 frames per second in glove mode, and uh, that we might see this device coming out here uh, very very soon uh, to be unveiled at Mobile World Congress in like Barcelona very 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 soon and then if you want to take a look at the UI uh, some UI change that they've done and probably some maybe some new apps uh, then there are a ton of pictures here that you can check out on Phone Arena's uh, own website here uh, but uh, it, it's a nice upgrade definitely to the Sony Xperia Z1 but if you already have a Sony Xperia Z1, you probably don't want to upgrade because it just came out six months ago. It seems to be having some new uh, some new backgrounds and things that we can see inside of here, and some some small UI changes here and there, uh, and that of course definitely is a little bit interesting here. You can see various parts. Of course, the general like look of the phone is of course kind of the same. Uh, because they don't change that much uh, in, in six months. Uh, but I'm uh, looking forward to this phone. I still think it looks a little bit too big, a little bit of a bulky phone. Uh, this one is, but they're cool because they're waterproof and like dustproof and all. So that is definitely something that is pretty nice. Seems to be also 16 gigabyte variant, not a 32 gigabyte variant. So yeah, stay tuned. We're probably gonna see these devices coming out very, very soon. Peace out.